this video is sponsored by mugshot so if you're interested to eat fast food so visit mugshot or i have the link given in the description below so visit mugshot and get 20 percent off from my promo code so here we have another topic and this topic is basically recommended by a lot of my students so i just find it that it will be the right time to create something like that so um, it's very simple. So the first thing I want to show you is that we have the class the section and the group. So if I just want to filter filter out these students from the nine and A, and they belong from the boys group. So I just simply need to press the uh, submit button, and now you see we have the uh, group, the uh, last name and the first name. And if I wanted to have the for the class ten and the section A, so we have we can easily filter it out. So I just have add these. Uh, at the two two different um, sections but if I just want to show you my database just only the uh, students two students from the 9a and the and the, and the third one from 10a so it all depends on you as much you can add up very simple database student underscore profile and uh, the name and the class section group so that's what we are gonna create it and the code is also given in the description in the github and you can easily download it from there right so i want to explain you the code i'm not gonna type each and everything so i find it good that it don't waste your time uh so the first thing i'm gonna do is the uh, simple i use the bootstrap for and uh, i have uh, put the uh, link in the head tags and uh, create a very simple form in the container the bootstrap class and the method is post and id i gave the id of at student because we are using ajax so i'm using id over here and uh, next i give the name to the class and I, as well as with the id and the section and the group and all all the same thing and the uh, submit button right and down here th this is the id for the marks data this is where we can show the table that's where we are showing the table so i gave the id for the marks data and uh, i'm using jquery so as well as i give the uh, cdn from the jquery.com go.jquery.com that's where you can easily get the uh, uncompressed version and uh, if you have done my jquery topic so jquery course so you easily knows that so once the document is ready so i give the uh, script tags and uh, give the uh, document already function inside that i give the id for the ad student and that's basically is coming from here that's what the id we gave it the uh, form tag right so whenever we submit the form it's it's directly inside that and now we give the action on submit we pass the event prevent default and inside the ajax we have the normally we use three to four properties the first one is the url which we have ajax.php that's where we have i have created the separate file for it and the type is post and the data and that's the again the id that's what we have given in our form and the data type of json and uh, down here i give the success function pass the data and also if the status is equal to one and i created the variable all html and here all the uh, table tags and inside there gave the uh, uh, table border table responsive bootstrap class and the table headings all right so then i also use the counter and pass the for loop because i want to extract the data and um, st list that's the variable uh, that we have just th that's where we can store our table that's where we want to show our table records so uh, inside the first one is the counter and uh, in, if you have ever used uh, for for loop in in javascript so basically that's we have uh, we gave the name of std underscore list and all the data inside the std underscore list with the loop std underscore key with the with the property name of name class and group and that's all saved inside the uh, all html and uh, and we and remember that that's the marks data that where we are going to show our table so that's the uh, marks data and uh, down here all shown in the html oh, sorry about that all right so if in the case if there is no student found so that's show you the no students found so uh as well as the some error exceptions all right and uh, that's a very simple connection db connection um the local host the name of the app and uh, mysql connection i hope you everyone uh, uh have 
gone through with that it's very simple not nothing difficult you can easily get it from the uh, w3 school so ajax.php that's the main file we we require the database and uh, it's we we set the post and that if if the uh, action is uh, equal to equal to get students so that's where it's coming from um, and you notice you see we give the uh, id of hidden and name action so whenever the action is equal to get students so that's we have to show the class section and groups and very simple query select all from the table name where class is this and section is this and as well as the group and uh, down here we give the array of data and uh, we give the variable all the uh, all store in the uh, we, we pass the query inside the connection and if this if all this if if the number of rows are greater than zero that means that we have the data and we also give the empty array for all underscore rows and uh, while if the users from all the list and we fetch the associative array and push all the results inside the all underscore rows which is the empty array and uh, give the status of one and std underscore list that later on you already see that it's in if we, that we pass the data uh, and gave the name of std underscore list so all stored in the all underscore rows and otherwise if it's not otherwise it's, we give the status of zero and also we encode it so we all convert the uh, um, java uh, javascript object into the um, string so um, I believe that's a very simple code, They're very helpful. I write this code as simple as I can, and I hope you guys will really fascinate and you can learn a lot and you can you easily use this in your projects. So uh, I believe that will be helpful and also link given in the description for, uh, for this code. So thank you so much for watching this video. I want to see you for the next time.